All right, so now we are on to the GPU installation of PyTorch. I would like to reiterate that the GPU installation of PyTorch is entirely optional. If you want to get up and running really quickly, I suggest you to install the CPU version and learn all the concepts because the GPU version, uh, the installation is a bit more complicated and you might have to troubleshoot if you're using a distribution like macOS, which may be a bit troubling. troubling. So, but before that, I would like to give you a very quick overview of how you can get up and running really quickly with Amazon Web Server. So as you can see here, what we'll be first covering is Amazon Web Servers. So your Amazon Web Servers, your AWS, you can quickly get it up and running within five minutes with this community AMI, which I've created called DL AMI, because you know, it's deep learning AMI. And it's only available in Oregon, but don't worry, wherever you are in the world, you can easily select this region and get up and running. So I'll demonstrate for you step-by-step step how you can go about doing this. So you can press the link below on getting Amazon Web Servers or again, you can Google on how you can get there. And once you're there, you will reach to this page where it will ask you to sign into your console. So here we have the page and all we need to do is to just, you can either create an account or you could sign in. But if you already have an account, then feel free to press your management console here. And once you're here, you just have got to sign in, which I already have an account. So just sign in. And again, if you don't have an account, feel free to create an account, which will take less than five minutes. And now we're in. So remember that the region you need to choose in particular is Oregon. There's nothing else here, which are available for the time being to quickly get this up and running. So remember to choose Oregon in particular. Now, once you're done with this, you need to press the services on the top left hand corner here. Now, once you're here, what you want to do is to press EC2. When you're in EC2, what happens is that you want to launch a spot instance, which is the cheapest way you can get up and running. So here you can see spot request on the left hand corner and we want to press spot request and we want to create a request. So it is extremely simple to create a request. I'll walk you through. So we want to press this big blue button here, which says request spot instances. So when we request our spot instances, immediately you see a bunch of stuff. Don't worry. There's only two major parts we need to modify, which is here, AMI. This is something we need, we need to choose, which is our AMI, my AMI, which I've created. So search for AMI. Now you have to press community AMIs under the drop down menu and just search DL AMI. Very shortly, you'll come up with DL AMI version one, if I'm not wrong. So just feel free to wait. And so as you can see here, we have the DL AMI V1 and just feel free to go ahead and select this. So once you're this, once you have this AMI, you can immediately select uh, instance type, which you have to change. As you can see here is a CPU version, which you do not want. So just cancel it. And what we want is a GPU instance, which is a GPU instance here. And the cheapest one, which is sufficient for our use is the G2.2X large, which the spot price now is 25 cents, which is reasonable. So let's go ahead. It's 25 cents, I believe per hour. So it's very reasonable. And the rest just don't have to worry too much about it. Just go ahead and press next. And all this, you just don't have to worry about it now. This is the thing here that you need to take note of is that I already have a key pair name. You need a key pair name. Now, if you don't have one, go ahead to go ahead and create one. So I'm going to show you how you can create one. So when you create one, just feel free to press the, press the big blue button again. So let's say DLMI2. And once you create it, you got to, it automatically downloads it. So remember where you download this particular AMI file. Once you download it, once you've downloaded this file, all you need to do is to make sure that you go into the folder later on, just a short while more. So I'm going to choose Richie instead because it is something I've created a while back already. And don't worry about the rest and we'll just go ahead and review. And all of this should be fine. Don't worry too much about it. Just launch. And it says successfully created. That's all. Now, once it's submitted, just wait for less than a minute and you're good to go. So let's just refresh it. Um, so it's fulfilled. 
so 65 cents an hour and so let's go ahead and go for it and our instances here as you can see it's pending again just wait for less than a minute and you should be up and running you can just refresh the page as i've shown you or you can not refresh and just wait for it and it's running so what you need to take note of is this public ip address here now remember i have this command here which is all you need to get into your server so with here remember i told you you need to remember where the pem files you downloaded so let's look into i put it in my desktop so i put it in amazon web server pem so as you can see here i have my richie.pem file here now remember just now you downloaded dlami-2pem it can be any name you want but just remember wherever you put it on your desktop on your in any other folder remember where you put it and you need to go into the folder from here this folder then you can copy this command now when you copy this command you need to make sure that you change the name of your key here it can be any name but for me my key is richie as you can see here is richie.pam so make sure it's that now do you realize that this public ip or dns now where do we get this so let's just delete this and once we are done with this we need to copy this public ip so we copy it and we paste it in here and voila if it says you want to connect just put yes and we are good to go we should be in the server almost really quickly so you see this deep learning mi for amazon linux and you should be good to go from here on out now one way to test it is that you do your python and you put import torch you immediately realize that if there's no errors going on you should be good to go and you can run all your scripts from this particular server from here on now it is a bit long because um, for some reason my internet is a bit slow today but it shouldn't be a problem and all right so as you can see here it works and we can just do torch.ones one one don't have to worry too much about it now and we get yep it works so let's just exit out so when you are done running all of your scripts you want to make sure you stop incurring costs and make sure if you want to terminate it just right click on this and you get a terminate so let's just terminate it yes terminate and for your spot requests you can go ahead and just remove it too so for here, all you need to do is press actions and cancel spot request, confirm, and you're good to go. So now I've covered how you can use Amazon Web Server to run your PyTorch scripts, which is very common among the internet. But I'll be covering very shortly on how you can install it on your local community, uh, on your local com your computer, which I personally think that if you have a Linux, that will be one of the easiest way you can install, which I'll be talking about very shortly.